Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video I thought I should share with you some really good duplicates or perfumes that give similar vibes to Baccarat Rouge 540, the Extrite and the EDP. I know that there are many of you who just don't get the perfume. You're just like, I have tried to love it and I hate it. I will put a comment from a subscriber up here who told me that outright like just cannot do it i have tried and i just don't want to smell like hospital i, I don't want to smell like a patient and i totally understand listen if i'm completely honest there are days when i i smell baccarat and i'm like yes i, I smell hospital vibes yes i smell sugared water especially EDP but it's much more complicated than that how can I even play the devil's advocate right now when I speak so well of Baccarat the thing is let's let's assess Baccarat Rouge okay let's assess its uniqueness it is very unique yes it's very hyped up but it was one of the most popular fragrances because it was something more refreshing it stood out in the group of perfumes that smell airy and sweet and warm at the same time unique definitely unique quality yes the quality is there you spray it, it stays on for a couple of days and the sillage is amazing people from far away smell you like you leave a trail quality great it's luxurious yes definitely luxurious because you smell like money I don't know how they do it it smells so simple but that's what makes it more complicated because we know it's not that simple like a, a true simple scent is not gonna last as long as it does it's not gonna stand out and it's not gonna smell as luxurious you know what I mean Baccarat Rouge is a compliment getter you wear it you know it guarantee somebody's gonna say you smell wonderful and that's what we want in a fragrance it ticks all those boxes and that is why I am team Baccarat but for those that you know don't feel the same way about it as I do or as other you're allowed to love what you love you're allowed to hate what you hate and so that's kind of the point of this video you know we can't sit here and debate whether it's actually really good or not or is it overpriced or not it's personal preference it's you know we're gonna have debates about iPhone versus Android for life it's meant to be fun fragrance is meant to be fun so don't be afraid to express when you don't like a certain perfume that I said I like or vice versa it's not personal it's not a personal attack so let's have fun I know you're probably thinking this is a long introduction but it's actually not an introduction I'm explaining to you what the video is about otherwise you would have been confused okay so I'm gonna list about 10 perfumes I might even throw in one more for good measure of you know dupes or similar vibing types of perfumes to replace your Baccarat Rouge or whatever and look some of these just give the vibe of Baccarat Rouge, but you might actually prefer these way more than Baccarat itself. And some of them are even better, better than Baccarat. Imagine me saying that. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Okay, so each one I will discuss and tell you why, why it's better and why it's not. I'm excited. Let's, let's jump right into the list. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my voice sounds a bit off and I apologize for that. I have been very sick. Like, we don't need to get into the details cause it's, it's kind of like not nice. Very gory and gross. <laughs> but I wasn't gonna stop filming just cause of a little sickness, you know? Um, but thankfully I can't transmit that to you. <laughs> so you're safe, you can still watch. Now, these are some popular dupes that other people have listed but i'm just gonna give you an unpopular opinion about them so let's start with ariana grande now ariana grande is a very popular dupe when i first sprayed ariana grande in, in the drugstore like this this goes back a few years now and i thought to myself oh 
okay what is this do i want to buy this like i was like okay it's sweet or well, whatever but mm. and then next thing you know it's blowing up as a dupe for baccarat i had to try it again the initial spray yes does smell a bit like baccarat that airiness kind of fresh warm spicy type of opening but the dry down is not like baccarat it's actually sweeter than baccarat and this is what always happens with these dupes it's they're either too sweet compared to baccarat or too fresh to be compared to baccarat for the price yes ariana grande is a good dupe for baccarat but they're not the same they're not the same the dry down is different but if you want to get the most out of your Ariana Grande Cloud perfume, you need to spray it on the clothes. On your clothes, it'll last longer on your clothes and it'll smell much more like Baccarat. Obviously, a little bit sweeter, but probably, probably really great. So try Ariana Grande Cloud. It's a good dupe. Spray it on clothes, trust me. Oh, my top dupe. I will tell you at the end because you know just keep the suspense old fragrances crystal number 23 it's he heavy and concentrated and when I tried this it was a pleasant surprise and it's a good dupe for Baccarat um, it lasts longer as well go give it a try um, Burberry hair intense powderiness of Burberry hair intense is definitely similar to Baccarat EDP. That jasmine and woody kind of vibe is more in the Burberry hair but less in the Baccarat. For a dupe, yes. And actually, do you know that Maison Francis Kirkshawn created Burberry hair? Like why, why would you create a very similar perfume for your house and then create it for another house i guess they were trying to trick us there look you don't have to buy baccarat rouge if you're wearing burberry her if you're wearing ariana grande like you have no use for baccarat i guess you'd only be buying it for the hype then otherwise they're very similar and burberry hair has like blackberry in there as well so which is kind of different from baccarat the next perfume is from Al Haramain. I think it's called Ember Oud Rouge, and I'd put it in the same category as the Baccarat Extract. And I dare say, Orientica Ember Rouge, this one. And I just did an unboxing and review of it. It gives me Baccarat Rouge Extract vibes. Not even vibes. It smells like Baccarat in the initial spray, like not even kidding but the extract the al haramain i will list all these perfumes in the description and you let me know which one of these dupes you've tried and you would give a hundred percent baccarat or not you know what i mean like what's your review of these dupes al haramain ember oud rouge is dense sexy it's the same as orientica Ember Rouge. They give me Baccarat Rouge Extract vibe. So this is the Extract. And the colors of the bottles are similar. They're all like a deep red. It's really sexy vibes. It's really deep, dense, you know. Yeah. A fragrance by Zara. Yes, we know Zara likes to duplicate famous scents and dish them out to us at an affordable price. But you know the longevity isn't the best but we appreciate having dupes now red temptation by zara smells like baccarat rouge it's hard to decide whether red temptation is sweet or fresh it's kind of multi-dimensional which is the same as baccarat rouge um the edp so that would be a really good dupe for the edp if you can get red temptation look get that you don't necessarily have to buy Baccarat. There are times where I think 
the original scent is always the best way to go and that is the case with Baccarat you know like I truly appreciate these similar scents because if you're standing next to two people who have sprayed one sprayed Baccarat and the other sprayed one of these dupes ah, you're both gonna smell amazing unless your nose is really trained to know the difference between ingredients and quality you know and be able to tell longevity longevity then you'll be able to say okay yeah baccarat that's definitely baccarat to like you know simple noses like some of us you won't have, be able to tell too much of a difference i mean an average joe would not be able to tell the difference some people explain baccarat as sugared water or what else do they say oh it's just airy and sweet like it's more than that it's more complicated than just the molecule situation in that perfume is really it's really amazing anyway <laughs> um, next one Swiss Arabian Garam that's a good dupe as well similar but not the same so try it Tin Haray wait I'm trying to figure out who made that one Le Covent Maison that one I actually rated 90 to 90.5 percent dupe to Baccarat Rouge because it might be even better it's similar but I find that Baccarat smells more quality I guess and he has longer longevity it's just unique you know but I think tin hair tin hare it comes the closest I think it's one of the top rated dupes for Baccarat so you have to try that I will link the perfume in the description so that you get the exact one I'm talking about it's nearly three hundred dollars I think Australian dollars but it's cheaper than Baccarat either way you're winning if you buy it next perfume I have two more perfumes but I can't really pronounce them I'll just link them in the description because I don't want to ruin the name I don't want to butcher it like that if you like the smell of Baccarat and you can afford Baccarat buy it like don't be going back and forth because what you end up doing is buying all these dupes just to get Baccarat when you could just get Baccarat you know what I mean but if you don't have Baccarat money like you have your priorities straight you have other things to use your money for you know you can buy the cheapest one in this list was Ariana Grande cloud spray it on your clothes it'll last longer and smell better and what was my oh honorable mention but my top rated dupe for Baccarat is <laughs> drum roll okay if you don't buy any of the dupes that I just listed this is the one you need to get this is Okcha Sweven the brand is called Okcha they do dupes for popular fragrances expensive fragrances like Love Don't Be Shy by Killian and many others but Okcha is kind of new to me and I'm so excited because I looked it up and I was like I have to buy all of them the bottle is only 30 mils and you're paying about 30 US dollars so Sweden is a perfume inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 it's got top notes of jasmine saffron orange marigold heart notes of ambroxan evernil the base notes are cedarwood ambergris and fir balsam look handcrafted clean vegan cruelty free paraben free and all of those great things try swimming i think it's the closest thing to baccarat i swore i'd only do it once in this video and show you the bottles themselves this is the edp baccarat rouge um 540 by maison francis kirkshawn or kirk, kirk de jean however you like to say it now this is the extract it's more concentrated higher in oils and things like that but the ingredients are great now these are the perfumes i've been talking about in this video 
feel free to go try them yourself if you have not already but i'm so excited that we have dupes the fact that we have other perfumes to reference expensive perfumes from i think that every perfume should get a dupe if possible because how they be charging these prices for these perfumes if another brand can replicate a perfume cheaper great quality great ingredients then what is stopping us why are we paying these brands so much money like why is it because we're getting more and more excited to buy perfumes that they keep bumping up perfume prices like stop it stop it's getting ridiculous okay i hope you enjoyed this video comment down below let me know if you have discovered any dupes for any of your favorite perfumes because i have plenty more to come i'm so excited to share them with you because there are some brands i am not spending that money for i'm looking for replicas for duplicates for whatever i can get just to smell it but not spend the money i think my next video should talk about perfumes i hate because there are some really popular perfumes that I just cannot deal with. I just can't do it. Okay, now take care. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.